Welcome, LBC here. Today we're going to talk about the Mastermind PBC, my rig, and how it works with OnSong running on my iPad. You can see the rig in the picture here, and here's a close-up of the new Schmidt Array pedal board with all the gear on it. You can see the Mastermind PBC at the bottom there. Next to that is a foot switch that adds a couple more buttons, so I have some extra buttons to work with. Here is the underside of the PBC. You can see my relay wireless in there from line six, some more pedals, and the power supplies and such, and my H9. So on the sides, uh, you can see the blue connector to the left. That's the power in. We'll see that a little bit later. And then there's some connections on the right. That's where my volume pedal and the MIDI input to the Mastermind is. There's also USB input on the left hand side that goes through a usb isolator just to keep hum and buzz when i connect my laptop to do programming on the mastermind that's what that usb is for so now we're going to look at the side panel we have the blue cable connector there and that is power in the gray connector in in the middle there is power out i usually connect that to a power strip that i have with uh, the neutric power con connector on it uh, it also has a female power con to pass, uh, you know, connect other things down the line for more, more uh, connectivity. And then finally, the uh, USB input that I mentioned. Also on the floor, you can see my iConnect. This is my lightning to MIDI connector and how I connect the iPad. On the back here, we have the connections for input and output to the pedal board, as well as on the left-hand side there, you can see a power connection that's power out from the Strymon Ojai power supplies. And that's so I can power some extra pedals outside the board if I need to. Uh, if I'm not using that, that cable would be disconnected. Um, you'll notice the IEC connectors on the back. That's the standard Schmidt Array power uh, connections, which I am not using, so there's nothing plugged into them. And we will see a close-up here now of the connections, and you can see I have expression pedal. Uh, so I have an expression pedal plugged into the PBC, which controls, uh, I can program it to control any of the MIDI devices. Output A and output B, they're two outputs of the PBC. I'm just using one. And then the yellow and green connectors are the yellow is the wireless out and the green is the PVC in. If there's no connection on the green, the wireless feeds the PVC. If I plug something in for a wired connection, there it is. It connects right in there and bypasses the wireless. Here is the right side where I have the volume pedal and the MIDI input. So the volume pedal has three connections. It gets fed by the loop out number 10, that's the yellow connection, and then feeds back into the Mobius input, the green connection. The red feeds my tuner. I feed the tuner out of the volume pedal. And then the MIDI input is tip ring sleeve, quarter inch there, and it converts to MIDI on the inside. So here's the layout of the pedal board. You can see all the different pedals there. We're gonna start at the beginning where we have the Jex Telez treble booster in loop one. Uh, that needs to be right next to the guitar, you know, so the guitar sees that first. That's why it's there. Similarly, you know, the next pedal here, which is the Electro Harmonix C9, this also wants to be next to the guitar. Now, I don't use these at the same time, so I have it in loop two. Loop three coming up is always on, basically, for me. It's compressor and the, uh, that's the Keeley compressor and the uh, EP booster. So that's following the two pedals that need to see the guitar. Then my gain stages, the Soul Food first, followed by the GTO from J Rocket Designs. And then we have the DNM drive from Keeley, which has a drive section in loop six and a boost section in loop eight. In the boost section, I use as a solo boost after all the gains. Right before that boost is the Walrus Audio Jupiter Fuzz. And then that is followed by my Carbon Copy Deluxe, which is kind of my always-on delay. Then in loop 10, starts with the volume pedal, and then followed by the Mobius, and then the timeline. These are all 
true bypass, so I switch them on and off via MIDI, and then finally the H9 as well. That feeds back into the return of loop 10, and then the outputs from the PVC go to my amp. Here is the relay wireless showing how it goes through the connector box. There, when nothing's plugged in, it feeds through to the input. When you plug something into the input, you get the wired cable signal. So here on the uh, PBC editor, uh, you can see I have it in song setlist mode here. That's the setlist I'm using. Here are some of the presets. You can see the song names and the preset names. That's how you get it to look like it does on the uh, two lines on the mastermind, which we'll see uh, shortly. And then we have song mode here, and here are the list of songs. And we have it selected so that the song number is what we're sending from the iPad to get to the PBC. And then we have the PBC set on MIDI channel four here, and we have MIDI bank select song. So we're sending MIDI bank numbers to the PBC from the iPad. And here's how you set that up. You hold the name of the iPad. Uh, I have this one already set up, but it, if you, you would just click add there, um, and we have the uh, program mode type, then uh, MIDI channel four, which is what we have the PBC set on, then zero there for acoustic grand piano, and uh, the MSB we don't use, so that's set to none. The least significant uh, is set to 21, and that will set song 22 on the PBC when you bring up this song on your iPad. So it's one uh, saw number difference between what you set on the iPad and what you set on the PPC. So song 21 on the iPad brings up song 22 on the PPC. Uh, so here's another one we'll look at. If I select hunger strike and then we hold that, we'll see that the settings are all the same except the LSB is 41, which selects 42, which is the same song we have on the PBC for that. So when I click to that one, it will bring up that on the PBC. So now we can see coming up here on the pedals that we have Keep Your Hands to Yourself is the current song selected. And you'll notice when I switch to another song here, we're going to switch to Hey Jealousy. You'll notice that the PBC now switches, and now I have all the Hey Jealousy presets, which there are three of there. And so it picks the first one to start. Now we're going to switch to Hunger Strike, and you'll see everything changes on the PBC. And now we have two presets for that. So that's how that works. And now you don't have to deal with songs lists on the PBC. You just select the song on the iPad, and off you go. So that's basically how I do everything, and it works out great. If I have to switch around songs on the iPad, I can just go pick the song, and the PBC goes right to the presets for that song. Uh, it's a pretty hip little way to do it, and thank you very much for watching this video. We'll make some more in the future. Have a good day.